in this video I will uh, show you uh, how you will get paid the best for uh, cutting down trees, meaning forestry in Farming Simulator 2017 and I will uh, compare three options you have to sell wood so the first one you just saw was uh, the heating plant uh, the chipper and here is uh, the basic chipper that will sell uh, directly to factory and you also have the option to uh, deliver to the port, uh, seaport. So I will just plant uh, three identical trees. So it's the same comparison. There you go. The last one in place. And I will go cut them down. The Scorpion King. Which I think is awesome to so I will just start off by uh, cutting down three. And I will go as close to the ground here as possible so we get the same comparison value. I always wondered. Uh, how you would get paid the best because forestry is not the easiest thing to do, it's time consuming. But if you do it correct, you uh, can actually start quite good from it. And actually quite uh, easy, which I will show in this video. So, first tree is down, got two. And as you uh, will notice uh, in a bit on uh, tree number three, uh, it can be quite uh, tricky to get that uh, cutting head in place. But uh, I guess you tried it already, so you uh, know. So please bear with me on the next one. But, uh, it will go down. bastard yeah. well, fourth try I guess <laughs> and just so you know I'm cutting the the, the, the logs in the four meters length is uh, of the best length to load in uh, chippers. If you go shorter, uh, you might have a problem with the trailer picking it up. Uh, if you go longer, it will simply tip off the chippers. And uh, the trailer you will see in a bit is uh, it's a mod. Uh, basically, it's a standard trailer, but it has auto load. So unload. Um, I'm using that. I don't consider it as cheating because I will simply uh, spend too much time loading blocks into the trailer by doing it manually. I've done that before, and it's really time-consuming. And uh, basically, you get the title. So I'm using uh, yeah, this auto load function where you can uh, choose which sides it should be loaded from and unloaded from the trailer. And actually you can go uh, you can load it directly into the chipper just by uh, well line it lining up the trailer correctly. It takes some practice but when you get it it's uh, it's quite easy. As you can see here, I'm uh, not loading on everything at once because it would uh, yeah, stack up and uh, get jammed. So, see, something is jammed here, but then the good thing about uh, the auto load, you can just load it to right back up. Like that. Give that another go. And as you can see, I'm loading uh, the, the, the wood chips directly into the heating plant instead of uh, piling it up and uh, yeah, 
loading in this manner. So have it uh, parked like this. It would be quite easy. So you can see in the top right corner now what the income was. So roughly nine and a half thousand for one tree. So let's go uh, load up tree number two. Put it in uh, this chipper on the right, which is uh, the chipper that uh, will sell it directly to, uh, yeah, I guess, some kind of factory. So you don't have to worry about transport. I just have to line up the trailer a bit closer to be able to have the auto load function to work. Yep, that was. Moving over to the chipper, I'll just go around here so I'm sure that it's lined up correct. Be going off the chip. Not hundred percent straight, but I think it's fine. Actually, this chipper has a better loading function uh, than the mobile chipper. Uh, it's, it's not jamming as much, so that's a good thing. Again, one jammed, but with the auto load, it's really, really easy to get it out of there. So, top right corner, you will see what we are paid for that tree by doing it with this chipper so roughly thirteen and a half thousand so that's quite a bit more four thousand more than uh, than the heating plant and just so you know um, this uh, stationary chipper that was sold directly to the factory it's uh, actually only 4,000 more expensive than um, the mobile chipper. And with the heating plant solution, you still have to buy the heating plant. So that's uh, far more expensive. So here I will just move the chipper to uh, the trailer here because uh, when you deliver it to the seaport it has to be wood chips, you can't deliver logs. So just uh, park it up here. I think I have to correct uh, the conveyor belt a bit in order to get it up there. Yeah. Okay. Just do that. Closer, set. Oh, sorry. Then picking up the uh, trailer. And actually, one of those trees uh, create uh, quite a bit of wood chips. Because that trailer is a big ass trailer. And you will uh, see it uh, not fill up, but uh, look quite good from uh, one tree, I think. Just have to get the, the rest here, and we will be off for the seaport. There you go.
by the way, this map is uh, the old Giant's Island map. I think it's uh, really cool because you have uh, everything quite close by. And, uh, yeah, I think it's a good map. Just go over the fields here. Shit, I have to uh oh, I have to back up. <laughs> I can't uh, turn around here. We'll go wrong. Rather just back up a bit and uh do it in reverse. So it will be quite fun to see what this will pay because basically it should pay more because you need more equipment. You need the wood chipper, you need a trailer, and you need to transport it. So, in my opinion, it should pay more than uh, the two other solutions. That would be fun to see. Yeah. Just unload it here in the unload zone. Oh jeez, six and a half thousand for doing the wood chipping and the transport. So this is uh, this is not a good solution. So the uh, conclusion must be that uh, you should um, yeah basically buy that uh, wood chipper that uh, will deliver it di directly to the factory by magic teleportation. I think because it just match when you put it in there. And as you can see here, uh, well, yeah, you can uh, you can move it. It's replaceable. Um, see, the heating plan was sixty-eight thousand, and that wood chipper was seventy-two thousand. So four thousand more. You don't need uh, a, a trailer for the wood chipper. Well, don't 